Hello and welcome to another edition of the Soccer Stars Archive blog. I'm going to focus uh, this time on the Chelsea Champions League winners pack which was released back in uh, November on the 22nd. Um, when Soccer Stars revealed that we are going to do a Chelsea celebration pack, um, a lot of speculation was about what size the pack was going to be. Was it going to be a straightforward 12-man pack, i.e. the starting moment of the manager? Would they evolve that into basically maybe a pack to include the three substitutes? Would we also see an Abramovich sculpt? Uh, sadly we didn't, what we did get was a fantastic 23-man pack, it featured the entire 22-man squad, uh, which of course was the starting eleven, the three substitutes who came on, and also the, uh, the four players who were unfortunately suspended for the final, those four being Ramirez, Ivanovic, Terry and also Raul Morales. All those four were actually then painted into the away kits, which was great to see uh, our very first away kit soccer stars. Um, so we're basically talking through the pack now, going down here, it was released like I say, 22nd November, uh, our IP was £90. Now, this didn't seem to put off too many factors, although conversation on Facebook with a lot of people said the pack was maybe a little bit too highly priced. But when you basically take into account a lot of the sculpts are probably not going to be released again, like Sir Drogba, Morales, Kalu, Turnbull, uh, Maluda, they're probably not going to be out again unless they do move to another Premiership club or a club that soccer stars get a licence for. Um, Drogba himself has just moved to Galatasaray, I think. Um, I can't see him doing a, a figure of him, but we may see some repaints if. Uh, the repaint artist has uh, got the money in his pocket to buy a loose job of things, not going cheap. Um, so basically we've got the pack here, like I say, it was our RIP price of £90. I've not really seen it cheaper online anywhere else, to be honest, it's pretty much a set price. And it was limited to just 5,000 pieces, and from what I can gather it sold really well. Um, still got stocks available as you would imagine, but I think again, as, as the year evolves, more people get to know about soccer stars, getting to collection, it will very quickly become sold out, and it could be collected starting in a couple of years' time, like some of the printing packs were. Uh, so there's the pack itself. Try and get in shot with there. I can't actually see my camera, so you have to just judge where it is basically. Um, so you've got all the 23 uh, figures in there. Pan across it again for you. You can see the top there, you've got the away kit players. we have also got the uh, then manager Roberto Mateo, who sadly sacked uh, from his post despite winning that Champions League trophy that Abramovich covered so much. And then on the back, it just details basically. It's basically details the, the pack itself. And obviously a little bit about the final as well. If you've got one, you've got to read it. There you go. Uh, so onto the figures themselves. Um, some sellers have been selling them separately. Um, the likes of Roberto Di Matteo has been quite popular, as you can well imagine. His figure sells about 10 to 15 pounds. And um, what I should have mentioned is the figures are all done on blue base as well, uh, not green. It's a nice touch, that to be honest. There was something that shocked me, not something that Soccer Stars mentioned prior to the, uh, the pack's release, but I think it's a nice touch and it's something I hope will continue if there are any future packs. So there's like Robbie D. Zooming close and polish his little, little badge there on his uh, on his suit. Nice touch. Okay, and obviously Didier Drogba, hotly anticipated figure. He was actually planned to be released as a single blister, um, but they chose Daniel Sturridge due to the fact he was playing more at the time. Drogba then was sadly dropped and was intended to be released um, as what was going to be Series 2. The figure was released in November and December. But obviously, he left the club to go chasing some uh, some big cash in the, in Asia. Uh, so say that figure was scrapped. So the only chance of getting him so far, so at least, has been through that Champions League pack. And again, like the Mateo shop previously, it's about 10 to 15 pounds it sends to sell for on eBay, which I know maybe sounds a lot, but considering if that's the only thing you want from the pack, you're a big fan of Drogba, big fan of Di Mateo, then 15 pounds is probably cheaper than spending 90 on the pack itself. Um, probably the most popular figure I've found so far has been the Raul Morales. Um, no surprise given the absolute quality of the sculpts in the way kit, you've got his tattoos there, his hair is pretty, pretty cool as well, a little bit more unusual. And again, that figure tends to sell 10, 15 pounds. Very popular Liverpool collector, despite being in the Chelsea kit. I've yet to see one actually in the Liverpool uh, kit repaint. If anyone's got one, send me a picture. Fantastic to see that, to be honest. Um, and probably my personal favourite from the pack would be that of Kalu, just who's got his spider haircut that he had for the Champions League final. Show him the back again. Nice touch. Not something that soccer stars had to bother with, especially for those that keep it in the pack. You're not even going to see it, but it's a nice touch and just adds to the authenticity and realism of the pack itself. So there we go, so it's been interested to know what the people's thoughts um, on the Chelsea pack, like I say, a very little production, and um, I'm interested to see, personally, if Soccer Stars continue this on, if they're going to do any more uh, box sets, will they do one for, I don't know, the like Liga Championship, it's always going to be either Real Madrid or Barcelona, will we see a pack released, if so, will it be a pack as expansive as a Chelsea one, will we also see a, uh, another Champions League pack, um, there's quite a lot of big teams in there, if someone did win it, they haven't got a licence for, would they acquire the licence purposely just through the pack? 
Also, we'll see an FA Cup winners pack or a League Cup winners pack. I know the Swansea rumours are out in there that soccer stars are hotly chasing the Swansea license, so it'd be great to see if they get that. Not saying they're going to beat Brad in the final, but you would you would edge your bet to say that they would, to be honest. Um, although Bradford have caused some upset so far already. Um, and obviously, again, who's going to win the Premiership title? It's very much in Manchester United's hands at the minute. And to be honest, they've released, looking at the collection so far, what, about 25, 26 of the, of the scope so far, including Mike Phelan, to be released soon. So I'd very much imagine if Manchester United win the major honour, which is looking likely that they will produce a pack for them. And again, probably let me numbers thing. Uh, so that concludes this, uh, this view of the Chelsea Champions League pack. Um, the next part is probably going to be about the uh, range of figures that we've released in the, between November and December. The additional ones for Arsenal, Chelsea, Liverpool, and you, along with the new releases from Tottenham, uh, Barcelona, and Real Madrid. That uh, that blog will follow soon. So again, any comments you've got, please post uh, message me on Facebook. Thanks again for watching. Happy collecting.